In this slide, we demonstrate the exchange and the sources of, of the indoor aerosols. And we assume this uh, microenvironment as a house, and there is the outdoor concentration indicated by in out in the upper left corner of this slide. And this house could be equipped with a mechanical ventilation, and this mechanical ventilation could have a filter uh, with a penetration factor P. And there is incoming uh, outdoor air. This is indicated by Q01, and the outgoing uh, air is indicated by Q10. Eventually, this air is mixed indoors, and then we have accumulation of the indoor uh, pollutants that is coming from outdoor as indicated by M sub N and the equation below shows the change rate of the indoor concentration which is equal to two terms indicated here by the uh, incoming rate and the removal rate. The uh, other process is infiltration which could be leak of outdoor uh, pollutants into the indoor air via crack or an open window or some kind of a bad engineering in the building structure. This is also indicated as shown in the second main term. And eventually, these indoor aerosols are deposited onto available surfaces. And you could see whatever plus term on the right hand side is a source, whatever minus term is a sink or a removal process. In the next slide, we are going to talk about the indoor to outdoor relationship of aerosol particles. And we have two important terms, the indoor to outdoor ratio and infiltration factor. And they are both depending on the uh, penetration, the ventilation rate, and the deposition rate, P, lambda, and lambda D. The infiltration factor varies between 0 and 1, only it cannot exceed 1, but the indoor to outdoor ratio can have any value larger than 0. And this is shown uh, with this very simple equation of the mass balance equation uh, that describes the dynamic behavior of the indoor aerosols. On the left hand side, again, is the change rate of the indoor concentration. On the right side, we have three terms. The last one is crossed out, which is the sources. But the first two terms are the uh, the incoming rate of the outdoor aerosols into the indoor air, and the removal is indicated by minus sign here with the ventilation and the deposition. If we think about steady state conditions, it means that the change rate is zero and the indoor concentration is constant. This can be rearranged so that we have the ratio between indoor and outdoor concentration, and this yields the infiltration factor, which depends on the penetration, ventilation, and deposition rate. Basically, if we have the indoor sources, the crossed out term included in this equation, then we have the indoor to outdoor ratio, and it can have any value larger than zero and can exceed even one. As I said, the infiltration and uh, indoor outdoor ra ratio, this, uh, these are very important terms to indicate uh, whether the indoor aerosols are coming from indoor sources or outdoor sources. 